Good morning, good morning, good morning to you. Oh, some people with their vehicles. So, coffee and yogurt. I took what I did. I was going to have scrambled eggs with waffle. No waffle is a, a chocolate chip one. So, I scrambled the egg and put milk. <clears throat> now it's it. I'm going to do French toast stuff. So I put cinnamon in the egg. Dip the waffle and fried it. Then I put butter and syrup on it. Tastes okay. But next time I would toast the waffle and do the scrambled egg like I was going to. I don't know. Live and learn. So we didn't win anything at bingo. But Ponda had one chance. For a hundred dollar game or something. Not the jackpot. Leah played too. So we played bingo. I bought the <clears throat> taco pie over. Had that with the sour cream and the salsa. The potato on that side, probably and I got a nice big margarine container. Going to be perfect. I only got one. So what I'm going to do when I'm ready to take it to work, I'll put it in that. Because I'm scootering all next week. So I need a good container. And then, put a chicken one. I'll probably Cook up some of those peas and bring them with me, right? I have a vegetable on the side. Now those are... I got my clothes in the wash. Then I got to do my nails today. They're all chipped. They're terrible. My nails are terrible. That's coming. As soon as I hang up my clothes, I'm just going to hang them up. Got one load. Um, later. I think what I have for supper, because I froze a meat pie, the chicken pot pie. I'm going to take that chicken breast. Put them cook with sour cream and that mixture that I made with the cumin and the garrison. I forget the name of it, but you guys know which one. With the cumin and I made a made a bunch of it and put it on a plate and then put it in one of my spice containers there. So, I'll have that probably just with rice. Cook up some rice. That'll be my supper. Tomorrow at work I'll probably, I'll have the chicken or now there's two ways of doing a nest. That was the mashed potato one. It didn't really look like a mess. A nest, but I think it's supposed to, if I would have had a brush and microwaved some margarine and brushed around the edge of the potatoes, it would have crisp 
bit more crispy, but oh well, whatever. Another way is to grate them. Take out all the water, put a little bit of margarine, salt, and pepper. Put them in the muffin tin. And then fill them up and put... There's a couple ways of doing it, but... I want to do something different. That's a shitload of mashed potatoes, so... I never taste it, but they smell good, so I know it's going to be good. And I taste the filling on both. And it was good. So. And you can put whatever you want. You don't have to put the taco spice. You could just make it like Italian. Put oregano or Italian seasoning or whatever. You don't have to do a taco style. Just like the chicken. You can do whatever. Make your cream and put the chicken in it or the chicken in it and And whatever spice you want to use, you could use sage and savory. With the chicken or turkey or whatever. Make it like a... A holiday mess. The potatoes and the turkey and the sage and savory and onion and... Just make your... Uh, just make your cream with your margarine and your flour and your milk because you want it to bump whatever spice it is. That would be a good holiday. Our Thanksgiving is this October coming up. Could always do that. Make one big one. And just have peas. Peas on the side and cranberries and the carrots and whatever. Yeah. Be nice for the holiday. My dressing always just put sage and savory. That's the spices that I use because that's what mom used and that's what her mom used and for the dressing. We do baked potato and or mashed potato. And you put uh, bread, crumble up the bread. Salt and pepper and an egg, a little bit of milk or water, whatever, and sage and savory and salt and pepper. That's how I always made my dressing. That's how Mom did. Not into stove top. I don't like stove top. But I really got to get these nails done. After I hang up my clothes. And then I'm going to lay back and do nothing. Once I got my nails done. One o'clock is Green Bay. I might watch. Packers play at one. I got the notification. The bell on so. I still got a lot of time. I might sit back and watch that. Lay back. But my nails, I can peel my nails, my toenails. Upload. Upload. Have a cigarette, get my clothes, hang them up.
and then start my nails. Cut them and get the polish off them and start over again. I don't know what color yet for my toes, but I usually keep my fingers clear. I'm cutting them right down short. Right down short. They grow fast. I'm not worried about that. But where the waffles are... Well, not really frozen, frozen, because I keep them on the door of the fridge, but... They're very little soft. Now, if I were to toast them a little bit, put them in the toaster and then dip them in the egg, maybe that would have. But anyway, whatever, it was something different. And I didn't feel like having sausage or bacon or ham or anything. Tomorrow morning I will. I'll probably do that chicken thing around. In between lunch and supper. So probably about three I'll get hungry. Then I'll get hungry later and just have a snack. Maybe grilled cheese sandwich or something. I took an orange from over La Fonda's. I'll have that for sure. Gee, I always get oranges and bananas and apples and that, so. So, oh, I still got that fly. <coughs> I just can't get him. Hopefully, he's my good luck. Mom always said, don't get rid of them. If they're flying around you, that means it's good luck. I got a topper thing now to put on that. So that's about it. I'm not doing no cooking today. I did not. I got four meals. See, oh, Monday I'll have the chicken one. Then I'll have the beef one. Then I'll have the chicken pot pie. And then, so five days. Five meals. Look at this fly. Probably can see him. I think he likes YouTube. See? I think he likes YouTube. He wants to be on camera because there's no food. Like, there's no food. Those, there's no reason for this fly to be bugging me. There's no food. Ah. Anyway, we'll end this and I don't know about a mukbang. I'm not even going to ask Bro anymore, I'll just let him say. Because I guess he was sipping last night and watching Jersey Shore or something I seen on his Facebook, so. I knew he wasn't, he don't sip and, and he'd be hung over today, he wouldn't be driving in. He won't. I told the kids, when you get your license, even if you're hung over, don't drive. Until that. Blood alcohol is out of your blood. And the only thing to take it out of your blood is rest. Time. It doesn't matter if you eat. Don't matter how much coffee. Don't matter what you do. It's still in your blood. Time is the only thing that... Don't matter if you take a cold shower. All that's bull crap. And I was taught that in bartending course. And I was taught that in my driver's ed course both said the same thing so time that's the only thing and I told them that I said you might as well drink uh, drive drunk if you're gonna 
died with a hangover. It's the same thing I told them. So. Anyhow, so you guys all have a good day and stay safe and cigarette time.